What makes uh, alaritumab unique is that it is a monoclonal antibody, so it's very specific. It's very specific, the platelet-derived growth factor alpha. And that is kind of potentially changing with these results, how we're thinking about PDGFR signaling in sarcomas. We, we often thought that this was a uh, cellular signaling process. And you would expect, though, with drugs such as Votriant or Pazopinib, which are actually multi-targeted tyrosine kinases, that when they hit PDGFR, they're not only hitting PDGFR alpha, but they're hitting PDGFR beta, that you would need to repress the whole cellular signaling to see a response. This is highly specific to PDGFR alpha. And with seeing such a tremendous improvement in overall survival, it is now beginning to rethink the penetrance of this system, the appropriate aspects of this system that are not only involved in the oncogenesis on a cellular level, but potentially what's also affecting either the immune, the mesenchymal stem cells that may be involved in these processes, or the tumor microenvironment. So hopefully beginning to tease out the biology because it has such a specific target.